Hey everybody, Chris the Cop here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. I got the lights down, got the camera light on, screens are going. We're ready for a little Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode and see you where Arthur's story takes us next. Gentlemen, boys and girls, all right. I'm really enjoying uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as the online mode. And um, I kind of wish that we would have put this for our Tuesday stream, but that's a possibility as Tuesday's game, which is Sleeping Dogs, is coming to an end from what I understand, which I'm kind of sad about, just as much as I was very sad for Alley Noir to end as well. But those two games are, though done, not forgotten, as I will be going back to finish up some of the missed content um, to get some of the achievements and you're definitely going to be able to come along for the ride All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Chris the cop I'm a real police officer playing video games and talking everything nerd If you like this episode as well as other content on this channel check out those playlists You're gonna definitely want to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for instant notifications Because you just never know when I'm gonna come home at 12 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and start live streaming as I'm not a retired police officer. I'm not an ex-police officer. I am a working police officer of 24 years who just started his 25th year. I work in the Los Angeles County area. That's all I can say about that. So, viva la California. <laughs> I, I love California. Our weather is awesome here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we live stream every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are currently live streaming on both Twitch and uh, YouTube, and you can support all live streams through Twitch Bits and Super Chats, and we much appreciate it when you definitely do so. We also have channel memberships. Take a look at those join buttons, and we definitely love your support that way as well, as it allows us to provide further content for everyone on this channel. So definitely, if you can join and become a member, which memberships give you some cool perks, and there's some actually new perks that are going to be coming very soon that are kind of going to be unannounced. So you may want to check that out as well. Every Friday we have a thing called Theme Week where we now focus on one game for seven days. And uh, this week it is Red Dead Redemption. Next Friday, who knows what that will be. Also, don't forget we have a merch store. Very happy with our new logo. Uh, it allows you to wear Chris the Cop CTC gaming stuff without having cops spotted all over it because we know we live in this weird world now where cops have become the bad guys. I don't even know what that's all about, but hopefully one day that will change on us again. All right, let's take a look what happens with Arthur next. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there was something going on with the doctor's office. Your stamina core is empty. Your stamina will regenerate slower. Sleep or eat foods such as meats and canned foods to refill your stamina. Okay, well, we got that. So we're going to open up our satchel. And it goes through some food. That's for our little buddy. So we got health core and restore stamina. So we're going to eat that. That's it. We got to get some more food. Oops. I need to also cook some food. Cool. I love how they just throw food all around. Howdy. New in town? Yes, I am. You have no idea the trouble I had to go through to get that. If you're going to want to stay sharp, I should have a stock available. Look at my catalog. Sure, what you got? All right, I'll take it. Anything more I can do for Tommy? Just one punch. Hey, that area ain't for you. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. Come on, add your age in here. How about we stop that? What do you want? This is private. Get lost.
Copy that. Why don't you leave folk around here alone? Look, there must be some misunderstanding. Ah, they got the windows all boarded up. Did a little reconnaissance. Sheriff is on it. You're starting to rile me now, pal. You get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, we're not going to rob it yet. Now that we know, we could do something. All right, so let's call our horse. Poor horse has been chained up all day. See, look at that. How do we? Left your trouble making ways behind you. How you hold her? Hmm. Good, good. Why do you want? Why? Why do? Why do they want to? Some kind of I'm gonna get some more hay from my horse. What happened to that $600? Can someone Hello there. that I got? I thought it was for me. All right. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Let's see what we got for a map. I stopped for this? Really? I stopped? 
for this three on one dead dead the heck was all that about ten bucks cool that was so awesome I'm glad I stopped Didn't help that I got kicked by a horse. the whole blocking thing better. Yep. Yeah, even he says, yeah. I kind of learned that they hit you a couple times or when you block that you should, uh, then you can hit them. But, yeah. I thought the other guy was going to be down for a while, but... Sir, please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay the money. How's that debt looking now? If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Hmm...
kind of curious on where it's going to play out. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Money lending and other sins. Chop wood. I'm a bit. I know, really. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Mr. Pierce. So what happened to the $600? I'm okay for now. <laughs> My company's not good enough for you? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> okay, we got $600 off the Driscolls. What happened? But okay. Did I screw something up? You're being an idiot. Hmm. Right, got all the other stuff. Got the maps, treasure maps, keys. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna have to research that to find out what happened to that 600 bucks.
you seriously have to redo this each time? Would you be interested in some friendly competition? Sure. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, a real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of a desgraciado, what are you doing? Uh! I was aiming. Sorry. This is so brutal. <laughs> what? Yeah. I do need to go get uh, some more rounds though. That was so weird though. I thought I got $600. To, I guess rewatch that. We went to the Driscoll's camp, the old Driscoll's camp. We looked inside the chimney. It said we got six hundred dollars, but it's not there. It's not in my bag. It's not in my inventory. Rabbit blood. I 
Time to go, boy. What's your issue? Go bother someone else. All right, I'm going. Get the hell away from me! I swear I ain't do nothing. Hey, partner. You cuff. such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't commit no crime. in this area. Great. Now I need to go to the post office, apparently. I guess I could have prevented that from happening, right? With threatening the guy like I did before. See what happens.
Yep. Dang it. I screwed up. Why does it keep resetting? I don't understand why it keeps resetting on me. That's probably going to be another 10, 20, 50 dollars. I love it. They got a better 911 system than uh, 13 dollars. Awesome. So look at it. Oh, now it's okay? Whatever. Oh my god, whatever. I should have just got going. Oh, you know what? That was so dumb. Yeah, so. Hi, nice to see you. start I never did anything wrong but I got falsely accused you know see you around <laughs> Come on, pal. Wow all that for nothing yeah BS Interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Jose. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Hot. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> I, should, I don't know why I the witness thing. 
Uh, I should have got that witness. I wasn't even thinking. Really? Really? Look where you're going. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? How not? The other one has been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. You? Well, clearly, you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. Mad about that. That was perfect. You won't cause us any. That was like a fifty-five dollar lesson. Coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Gosh, that was such a bad lesson. That's that's like so much stuff I could buy. Uh oh. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. I am so tired of. Really. That's not what I wanted to do. Arthur, get over here. Yeah. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. The reason why my horse is now following me. My good man, my good young man. Very well, very well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here, please. Get him down here. Get lost, Mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here. You selling some partner? Free. Why no? Alignment. What? Why no? Alignment. Your Lord God Almighty. Whomever built it. Must be 
Okay, so I got the money there. We're up to the money that I had before. Okay, let's go to the barn. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Hey, wait for me to get out. Wouldn't that be so loud? Such like good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Don't they all? 
Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches at me selling, I'll see what I can offer you for. But discreet. You Ooh. know, of course. A little GTA uh, action. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yep. Sure. What did we do here? Which one's this one? <laughs> I like the fact that you have to travel all the way back. I guess we don't have to worry about a... Oh, the Spines of America. That's kind of a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Give some money to the camp. Oh. Forgot about that. Now, okay, let's go to my. Get to work here. 
We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. Arthur's uh, getting kind of tired of this life. Hmm. Saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Honey business. Nope, I like my beard. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've done two missions. Oh, by the way, I took a look to see what happened to that $600 from paying a social call, which is you go up to the Driscoll's. Well, apparently, uh, 300 went to the camp, and we each got $100 together, so... Uh, I did not get a full $600 like I thought I was going to. Uh, so a little bummed about that. Okay, uh, that's her. That should be interesting. Let's go do that. Let's go get Michael. And then we'll call this episode a wash. Or not a wash, but go get my horse. I hate that you can't run in camp. It's kind of annoying. There we go. So you gotta remember to set all your stuff. Apparently. Alright. <clears throat> this should be interesting. Boom. I hear a mountain lion. You heard something? Thank you. 
Last time I did this, I got eaten by an alligator. Come on, hurry up, cut this thing. I have heard of cougar. Is there a mountain lion? You got him? Okay. You're welcome. Did he say? the freeway goes in. Yep. I feel better that I found out what happened to my $600. I was like, wow, I was gonna get some major upgrades. Thanks for dumping me. Let's get out of here before we get in trouble for murder. shotgun in my hand. Say no. 
Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little uh, demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? Clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. New York Don't City? Say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage, and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. <laughs> oh, yes. This does look familiar. What's so funny is back then, just with the lights of the town, you'd have been able to get your way back home just by looking for the glow. Oh, are we close to town? Resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. All this side stuff. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this Paul Peep. I won't complain about New York again, let me tell you. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Tom O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir.
So it sound, looks like the jail is down below. Time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. <laughs> oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. Now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good force. Find a way to free Micah. Steam donkey over there still works. Yes, hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is going to be. <laughs> Just pull that lever. Come on. Whoa. Okay, we're retrying that. Nope. Okay, I gotta retry that. I don't even. Trying to move there. Okay.
something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. I didn't even see that. Where the hell was he at? I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Cave in his skull. Keep shooting. Don't give up on me now. Oh, nice next shot. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Yeah, you think so? Oh, got the law. Got the law. What the heck just happened? That was some good shooting, Morgan. Oh. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call Watch in the it. middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Oof. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how I damn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. Ooh, nice. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us. Love the storms here. So awesome. Whoa there. I think we finally lost. I hope so. 
I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. Hmm. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up half a town. <laughs> You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Get an offhand holster. I want to get those for my regular character. Bless, blessed are the meek. All right. Hello. Don't mind me. I just got done sh committing serious crimes that caused towns to go into lockdown for a while. This is shown by a red area on the pause map. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it that way? Uh, yep. Great. Well, let me see, where is our camp? I think I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm gonna get some sleep. I am like extremely tired, so let's uh, okay, let's go to full screen here, and we'll talk about this. All right. Hey everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Okay, that concludes our third episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. What I'm trying to do is to play at least three stories, missions, cases, whatever you want to call them. Um, whatever that may end up being, it's about an hour to an hour half worth of gameplay as of right now. I definitely got to do a couple edits here and there to cut some stuff, but uh, that's where we're at right now. I'm a little bit tired, a little bit punch drunk, and uh, I'd like to stop, try, to, <laughs> try to stop myself from yawning. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 and more exciting episodes coming. Uh, we're starting to get all the little mechanics out of the way. I can only imagine the, the, the other storylines as we learn how to do various different things within the game. Uh, one of the questions is, though, is that does that mean every time I leave my camp on my horse that I have to redo my, uh, my, uh, my gun thing? Um, you don't have to do that on the online version, so that's why I was struggling a little bit. That's my question to the... To the community right now all right ladies and gentlemen take care of yourself take care of one another we will get through COVID-19 together but until then I'll be in this chair with a missing Grogu making the content you request you want and you definitely deserve don't forget to hit us up on discord give us those suggestions we do have a suggestion channel and we should be doing some co-op SWAT 4 next week stay tuned for that announcement on the community tab all right ladies and gentlemen once again we can change the world together helping one person at a time. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris DeCop reminding all of you, peace.